in your football morning in America, you you did have a large uh, chunk of space uh, dedicated to your chat with Joe Flacco, who says that John Harbaugh told him on the the night of the draft of Lamar Jackson, win football games and none of this matters. Um, so that, that that that's all well and good, but Lamar Jackson has to be out there on the field. And as much as they're Instagramming out videos of Lamar Jackson throwing the ball to Joe Flacco, I mean, that's, that's not what's going to lead uh, Baltimore to the promised land. It, it's going to be Jackson making plays, even though he says he still wants to be a quarterback. To me, that's the story coming out of the draft is how that is actually all going to be able to be put into – reality not just practice by the Ravens I still I still don't know how they're going to be able to split that ball up Peter well I think what you have to do is you look at the offensive coordinator there it's Marty Morninweg and you look at what Marty Morninweg did when he was in Philadelphia and the Eagles signed Michael Vick in 2010 I think it was the Eagles signed Michael Vick and they had to find a way in that period of time to uh, to make Michael Vick a factor in those games. And so I think they'll do, I'm not saying the same thing, but it was funny. Um, I was on the phone this weekend with somebody who, uh, who knows Marty Morninweg very well, and he just said that, you know, all you have to do is get out the old playbook to, uh, you know, to the old Philadelphia Eagles. And you're basically going to see how they're going to use Lamar Jackson. Same kind of plays that they used with Vic. So I'll be interested to see that. I think we all will be. But look, as far as I'm concerned, the Baltimore Ravens had become one of the most boring teams in football. No doubt. And boring also translated to losing. They're 41 and 41 in the last five years. Something had to be done. I think they made the right move. I love them. I love the pick of Lamar Jackson. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.